Okay, I'm going to show you very quickly how to turn your Max Dock into a mashup of the Windows Start menu and the old school Apple menu from the Mac Classic era. This, I think, gets the best of both worlds. And to begin, we need to delete all of the apps from the dock. You can quit, and so there are two ways. You can drag them off, or you can click Remove from Dock, like that. And so that's done. Now, next, what we're going to need is a folder to work with. I've set my Finder to open to my home folder here, so I will create a new folder. And just for giggles, because I'm a little bit old school, we will call it Apple Menu Items, just like the old day. And it'll be fun to give it a custom icon. So let's do that. Oops. Let's move this over to the side and get info on this here. And in Safari, we'll do a search for uh, Rainbow Apple Logo. Oh, oh, transparent. And if we go to Images, I happen to know that this one here from Wiki Commons is transparent, and we can just drag and drop it right there, and we've got a custom icon. Okay, great. So, next. Uh, we will take this folder and drag it to the right side of the dock next to the trash. Now right now there's nothing in it so when we click we just get a default blank experience but that's okay. Uh, we will now fill this with other items so let's create a new finder window and Let's start by getting some of our favorite applications. Now, I've done a little bit of organizing on the desktop that I use all the time, but let's go sort these by res icons. Let's not use groups and sort by name. And there are a few that I'm going to put in here just for uh, illustration purposes. Pardon the pun. Uh, go into Apple menu items, so we've got a bigger target to drag to. And if we just drag the icon, we get a link, which works just fine. So we'll do Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop. We'll take our Affinity apps. Bet you guys can't guess what kind of work I do on the Mac. Um, Let's see, I do actually use books pretty often, and I am totally a Firefox guy, and let's see, uh, Keynote, there are iWork apps, Pages, which I enjoy using iWork apps for quick stuff. We've got a browser, let's get mail. Just a couple other items in here. We don't need all of them because we're going to get, here's mail, and uh, oh, let's do Pixelmator and uh, Safari just for giggles. And uh, oh, can't live without VLC. All right, that's enough of that. Now the other thing we can do is we can take the whole applications folder and drag it right up here. Whoa, nope, not trying to duplicate that. We'll drag a link instead. And I note mine, which is the system applications folder, because there's also an applications folder in your user account. Oh, let's see, but we're not going to look into that quite yet. But we are going to get. Uh, documents and downloads and also the 
desktop in here. So we'll drag links to those by holding command and option. And let's just clean this up by name. And so there we go. Now, you can also add documents in here. Um, I don't happen to have anything in my downloads folder, but if we did, let's see, let's go into applications. Let's do, let's do just some quick, like a uh, pages document real quick. Let's continue a document. Let's just do a default template and save it. Yeah. There we go. We've made an, ep an edit. We'll save this into our documents. There we go. We can do another one, Command N. We do all right. And we'll save this one. And documents as well. Yep. out of pages. Notice the icon disappears off of the dock now because the application is no longer running. Uh, we can actually close out Safari too because we don't need that anymore and I'm not using terminal at the moment so that can go away. Oops. Let's remove that from the dock. Okay. Uh, now notice the Apple menu items here is populated with our list of stuff and this looks kind of cool. Most people have seen this uh, icon arrangement, but if you right click the folder instead and click display as folder, you'll get the Apple icon that we set. And if you view content as list, this is where the secret sauce happens. Because all of those folders that we dropped in there become pop-up menus. Now desktop, I don't have anything on the desktop right now, so it's not showing as a pop-up menu, but documents is. And we can go, oops, I forgot to give that one a title. But we can open up Untitled right there, and there's that Start Menu file, and we can actually rename this Start Menu. Press Return, and the file is updated. There we go. Uh, there's just a couple other things we can do. If we go into Dock Preferences, let's see, there's a Dock and Menu bar. Uh, and make sure minimize windows into application icon is checked automatically hide and show the dock is checked that way we only get it when we need it we get our screen real estate back show indicators for open applications is now extra because we only have running applications in the dock and then we turn off show recent applications in the dock also and now we have a fully customized power tool Oh. One other thing, uh, let's see. This is actually a personal favorite of mine. Let's pull up a new finder window and open up the Apple menu items folder. Now we can do this this way. We can also just right click and open the folder so that we can get stuff in there. And if we drag our disks into the folder, now we have pop-up menus with absolutely the entire contents of our fold of our drives available. Now this particular account is not a an administrator user, so my internal disk doesn't show up as a pop-up. If I try to open it, I'll get it. But on an administrator desktop, the uh, internal drive does show up as a pop-up. But now I can look at any of the uh, files in any of these folders on my external. And that is the way I use my doc.